See, it comes naturally to somebody like me, but him? Ugh. Oh, now I broke it. Oh, they're far-fetched Hollywood. Oh, he's down! Oh! This actually goes like this to tell the time. No, you're you 80. Do. I mean, F word and see it. Get up, let's go! Dude, he might actually kill you. Cole Winston, Adam Munt, here at Boxing World Weekly at Fight Night for United Promotions. The objectives, give you guys all the access we can. That's gonna happen. If Boy Wonder's here, we're gonna find him. We're gonna talk to him. That might happen. And we're also gonna give you the perspective of Tyler Buxton. Get up, let's go! The promoter on tonight's show. And that will be the vlog that we provide you guys this week. All access. It's gonna be a big card. People are gonna get knocked the F word out. And we got a lead on uh, Boy Wanda. Boy Wanda. He may or may not be in May the or may not be there. Night. And Tyler said he'll point us in the right direction. Yeah. But Which, if, yeah, exactly. If he's there, we got him. We're finding him. It's kind of like Waldo. Yes. Who's more famous, Waldo or Boy Wanda? Waldo. Yeah, probably. Boy Wanda's got more platinum records. Yeah, but Waldo has like a million books. Yeah. Waldo's and never been on the Billboard Hot 100. Boy Wanda's never been in a, a book that you find in every single dentist waiting room. I see, never I saw see. anywhere else. You used to buy them? Yeah. What kind of cycle buys a Where's Waldo book? <laughs> Would you buy the I Spy books too? Yeah. That's actually not bad. No, I, I, had, I had a couple of I Spies. Yeah, that was, you know what, that was, that was uncalled for. Yeah, it was rude. Yeah, it was. It was. He's not going to not show up to the biggest United event. Right, if you're going to go to the, all the yeah. little ones. Yeah. What was the point of your fanship if not to cash in on the biggest night of the year? Yeah. See, it comes naturally to somebody like me, but him? Oof. It's tough. It's tough. See, they think I just, like, fell into this Hollywood name. No, it's earned. Bought in sweat and blood. Yeah, also partially because you're a diva. Okay. But my microphone looks good. I'm going to sound great. I'm just going to do a little convincing is all. <laughs> oh, now I broke it. Yeah, broke it. Oh no. <laughs> Be good. Hello, hello. There Boxing you World Let's Weekly. Cole, Adam, and Jaden. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Thank Thanks, you, sir. guys. How we doing, boys? Cheers. You too. Oh, you take a peek inside first? Yeah, go back. Oh, yeah. Tyler. <laughs> yeah, we're just heading it back. Are we wear the same color jackets? Are you red? Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! That's no show. Yeah. They're <laughs> gonna mistake me for Tyler. Right. <laughs> All right. Here's the thought, Cole. I'm going. It's on that side. The reason I got the band. You need on help, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason I got the band. <laughs> the reason I got the band on this hand. Hollywood folks. Okay, you gonna let me talk or? No. Okay. I'm so I done. got the band on this hand because I'm gonna be standing that way. So the microphone is going to be in this hand, okay. going back and forth. So I thought maybe I'll put something on this wrist. I have okay. a very real watch that I got for like $30 from a guy <laughs> in New York on the street. That's how you know it's real. So I have a watch, and then I just have like just then I just have a gold, gold chain. Yeah, no watch is significantly better. Oh, but the gold we're at a casino, man. Yeah. I, I was kind of leaning watch. But, yeah, yeah, significantly better. Not even close. My dad actually bought it for me, and he was like, oh, I have to go buy a fake watch from those guys who claim everything's real. And so he did. Like, actually. I, I respect it's hilarious. It. No, it's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. So he pulls out his phone, and just on his camera roll, he's just swiping through. He's like, I've got all these. Which one do you want? Just tell me, which, tell, me, tell me which one you want. And my dad's like, are they real? And the guy's like, of course it's real. Which, to my dad, is like, OK, perfect. I got yeah. the guy. I got the guy with the fake watches. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. One of the numbers fell off, so that's cool. Well, it's not a number, but. I smashed my glasses and took off my hands. <laughs> So it's complete decoration. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's supposed to be. Who actually That's tells, all it is. Who actually goes like this to tell the time? No, if you're you do, 80. Yeah. yeah I mean, those are the do. people that do. People should do like the <laughs> like smack it off your head. Just cooking away this vlog. Gold. Cold. Quite True story. Well, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> and, and thanks. Yeah, how often do you lie to us? Yeah. Never. That's what I'm, I just feel like. <laughs> I feel like my stories are sometimes far-fetched, so I have to like oh. drill down the fact that oh, it's real. Oh, they're far-fetched, Hollywood. But it's real. Yeah. Never tell a lie. I don't want to stand back here anymore. All right. I've had my fun.
First fight of the night, folks. And the crowd is packed. You know what that means? Boy, Wonder's probably here. Oh, there we go. A couple big punches for Evan. That might have been it. What was that? I said, how's my hair look? <laughs> is it okay? Looks good, Hollywood. Okay. If anybody's wondering why I'm not on camera. It's because he's holding the camera. It's because I'm holding it. Yeah. Man of jack of all trades, man Just, of many talents. Right. See, I'm only, I only got one talent, I'm not even that talented. Yeah, I guess that's why I'm the boss, but also. The boss, never calls himself the boss unless the camera's out, by the way. <laughs> Off camera, humble guy, just goes about his day. Yeah, just the, the professor. On, I'm the boss, I'm the boss, I'm in charge. <laughs> He's got to get up. That was before the bell. We're going to miss the entire fight. The guy just walked by. He's shorter than me. Fighting six foot seven, 280 pound. <laughs> house. We're going to miss it. This We're going to interview Kamal. Yeah. We're going to miss the fight. I mean, Jaden will have it on the, on the camera. I want to right. see it. Hey. There we go, hey man, there we go. I'll be right back. Of course, Put another one on the list. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. Boxing World Weekly here with the recently victorious Kamal, the hitman Russell. Kamal, what is it with you? You come back as three in a row, three knockouts, three highlight reel knockouts. <laughs> come on, like, tell me, what's going on, man? But I told you, man, um, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, you know, I, I, um, I say what I mean and I mean what I said, you know? If, if, if I wasn't able to do it, then I will tell you, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm a realist and I am my biggest critic, as I said before, you know what I mean? If, if, if I know what I can do, you know? I know what I can do, I know what I'm capable of. Shotgun go off? I told him, man, the shotgun gonna go off, man, no play. <laughs> For Pam, who jab fighter in the world, here is Suki Chakriya Yeah. Sook just stopped him in less than 30 seconds. 12. Dude, I didn't even, I didn't even F word and see it. We've got it on tape. I said on the way here, he's he's going to stop the guy. I think Sook's gonna stop the guy. Yeah. I just didn't think it would take 12 seconds. Like, are you serious? Yeah. Sook, man, he's for real. He put that weight on. He said he was gonna start sitting down on his punches. So that's what happened. Yep. Like that's, I would have loved to have seen it, but <laughs> thanks for that. Thanks for having one of the best performances of your career. <laughs> and putting another knockout on the record. Oh, had a boy suck. Good stuff. Nice. I'm gonna tell him that too. I'm tell him I'm mad at him. <laughs> so, I wanted you to get a knockout, but I wanted to see it. Yeah. Now, tell me. I didn't even get a chance to get out. We were finishing up with Big 12. I missed the entire fight. So talk to me through what happened. What happened with the stoppage? So, um, so the game plan was just from the first round, put pressure on him. Mm -hmm. And uh, like first hand I throw, he landed and he buckled and I jumped on him and okay. that was it. All right, so I gotta ask, what was more difficult, the fight or punching me and Cole in the stomach the other day? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! I think uh, when I was cutting weight, punching you guys was, <laughs> it was tough. It was tough. <laughs> it was always an earth that go, but you didn't show something back. You know what I'm saying? You didn't tie him up. You didn't freaking try to freaking intervene in something. You just got a barrage of shots. That's your fault. Fight fans! Live around the world on pay-per-view from the sold-out Pickering Casino Resort, Tyler Buxton's United Boxing Promotions presents the main event of the evening! He doesn't like that! Keep touching that! Keep touching him! Ah, they shot 
nice shot. Going back to work on Monday, unfortunately. <laughs> I install windows and doors. Not too happy about it. Showed up. We just work together. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, we just work at the same place. Yeah, that's it. We don't work together. We just work at the same place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. work against each other half the time, but that's all right. Yeah. We're, we are each other's competition. Everybody just agreed on everything, and nothing would ever get done properly. I gotta take a nine-minute piss after this. I'm holding it in the entire event. Hollywood. What? Oh, so now it's the diva if I have to pee? Is that, is that no. really something? No. Hearing about it. Oh, shit. Aye, aye, aye. Boxing Weekly about to close the show. Cole Whiston, Adam Hunt. What a night. That was awesome. We got you everything that we told you we were going to get you, except for Boy Wanda. That's his fault. He's not going to not show up to the biggest United event. Scheduling issues, yeah. it happens. Yeah. No. This won't be the last time we're here. He called me, I didn't call him back. It was my fault. I <laughs> <laughs> it won't be the last time yeah, that Boy Wanda comes here. So. It won't be the last time we're here either. Exactly. I, Too I good did. of a show to not come back. That I did awesome. just say that, but that's okay. No, no, no. I didn't hear you. This won't be the last time we're here. I was listening. That's the close, though. Did you guys enjoy? Let us know in the comments. And we'll have one coming to you in January, hopefully. Hopefully. For Bitter Bia versus Smith. Given the right financial incentives, I would take years off my life fighting Big 12. <laughs> have to be like life changing money, which I don't know if they're throwing around. I don't know. I'd fight Big 12 for like a million dollars. I feel like a thousand bucks would change your life. A million dollars. I'd fight Big 12. Oh, stop. A million dollars. 500,000. Yeah. I'd do it. 250,000. You would have to convince me, but stop. I could, you could probably, I'd probably do it. 100,000. No. Stop. That I wouldn't, that I can't do. A hundred thousand? Nah, can't do it. A hundred like, thousand? No, but it, it would take, in the ring. it would take years off my life. No, if he stops me, that'll take years off my life. I'll trade years off my life for 250,000. I'm not trading years off my life for a hundred thousand. What? Dude, he might actually kill you. Yeah. Like, not joking. Like, he I might actually kill you. So if I raise the money, you'll fight him. Yeah. If we start a GoFundMe page. For, uh, yeah. But yeah. you actually have to fight them. Like, none of this, like, bell rings, you run out. Like, bell rings and you charge forward, like, come here. Yeah. mf -er. <laughs> Yeah. That's, you're lying. It's, it's one punch. Yeah. No. That that's... could snap your brain stem. Leave you paralyzed from the neck down. $100,000 do you a lot of good when you can't physically <laughs> touch it. <laughs>